Welcome to Bookable. In this video, you will learn how easy it is to customize, send, and store documents for your rental business with Bookable. Let's start with how each document works. When you place an order in your Bookable account or click into an online order you've received in your account, you can easily generate a document that automatically fills out with all the information about the order, including the customer details, the order details, and details about your store. You can easily generate a quote, a contract, and an invoice for each of your orders in a single click. You can also generate a packing slip for your staff to use. Click the link in the description box below to learn all you need to know about packing slips. Once you generate a document like a quote, for example, you can send your customers this document with our send email feature. But for quotes and contracts, you can confirm them first and have your customers sign for them through the use of our mobile app, for example. Sending emails with Bookable is sped up due to our handy email templates feature. In your settings, you can customize each of these documents with images, text, formatting, and other changes to create the ideal document to suit your business. And once you start sending documents, all the documents that you create for your orders will end up on the documents page in Bookable, which you can filter to view your business's turnover and other handy insights. So how do these documents help your business? Well, quotes are a great way to send your customers the price summary after you've adjusted the price with an agreed upon discount or surcharge. You can send this over as an email attachment to your customers with our send quote email template. Contracts or waiver forms are great for sending the terms and agreements of your rental business over to your customers. You can include this in the body of text when we customize this document in a later step. And of course, you can collect a signature if you're in person with the customer or out on a delivery using our handy iOS and Android mobile app. You can send this as an email attachment with our send contract email template. All of our email templates are also customizable in Bookable. Lastly, you can click pro forma to generate the invoice. A lot of people like to customize the invoice footer to include their bank transfer information. It's important for you to click finalize an invoice to make it official in your account so that the invoice receives an invoice number, it's blocked from any further changes to the order, and the invoice appears on your document storage page for its total to count towards your revenue. You can click the link in the description box below to learn more about how to revise or credit an invoice from your orders page in Bookable. Now let's look at how to customize each of these documents to suit your unique rental business's brand. In your settings, go to general, and here you can see that you can upload your company logo. This will appear in the top corner of all of your documents. Once you're happy with your upload, you can then go to the documents page in your settings and you can scroll down to tweak some of the settings that will apply to all three of your document templates. This starts with how the date and time is shown. Perhaps you want to show the date and time of the pickup and return, or only the date to your customers. Next, you can customize how these documents are sized. You can choose between an A4 size or a US letter size, for example. You can also choose how the document is numbered. You can start a new numbering sequence for each document prefix to have a new invoice count start each year, for example. Lastly, you can set a due date for your invoices. This will enable you to automatically set a due date for every invoice that is finalized. And these due dates will appear under a column on the invoices panel of your documents page. Once you're happy with the general settings, you can scroll back up and click into one of your templates to customize it further. You can start by adding a prefix to your document. This makes it easier to identify your different documents. For example, you can add dynamic values like a year or order number or a custom prefix. Then you can scroll down to edit how your products are shown on your document, for example. If the individual stock item number is shown or the product image is shown or not. Lastly, you can add additional information. On your quotes and your contracts, you can add a body of text as well as footer text. 
you can see that this is included in the contract, which is really handy for adding in your waiver form details, for example. But on the invoice, you can see you can only add a footer. If you'd like to send your customers your waiver form details, you can choose which document you'd like that to appear on. You can make some changes to the document settings, first of all. And then you can add the text for your terms and agreements. So I'm going to send this through on my contract. Here I can edit the formatting with stylizing the text. I can also add a paragraph, a table, a line, and other handy additions to this document text. I can also edit the text with different hyperlinks, for example, if I would like to link this customer from their document to an external link. You can also choose the alignment of your text that best suits your rental business's brand. You can repeat all of these formatting steps for your footer, where you can also add uh, a different heading size of your choice. Once you're happy with that, you can scroll up and make all the necessary changes you'd like to your other documents. For your invoice, it may be handy to include your bank transfer information in the invoice's footer. You can of course use all the formatting steps available in the other two documents for this text as well. Once you're happy with all of the changes to each of your documents, back in the document settings page, you can click the link to also add custom CSS to your documents layout and design as well. You can click the link in the description box below to learn more about adding custom CSS to documents in Bookable. Once you start creating documents for your orders, they'll be stored in the documents page of your Bookable account. If you send invoices, this page gives you a general overview of all of the revenue generated by both your finalized and non-finalized invoices in Bookable. If you don't use invoices, you can ignore these figures. And even if you don't use invoices to customers, but you want to track your store's revenue, you can do that through our reporting tool. Click the link in the description box below to learn more about using reports in Bookable. You can use the filter bar on the left-hand side to change the report this page shows, where you can only show invoices that have been sent, for example. You can also change what is shown by the payment status, and you can choose a time frame for both your order date and your due date to view the turnover generated by invoices. In the other panels, you'll see a list of all the generated contracts and quotes you've created for your orders as well, which you can click into to print, send, or download. These filters can allow you to create a bespoke report that you can then further export from your Bookable account. And you're all set. You have now learned how easy it is to customize, send, and store documents for your rental business with Bookable.